it says with this visa you can work in the uk without a job offer including voluntary work you can be an employee or a self-employed or a director of a company imagine this could be a good day wake up so a lot of people have reached out to me about the health and care worker visa asking me do you do application for it and i said i was going to finish with the student one before going into the health care one which i said from the third week of june i'll hopefully start receiving you know clients for it and one of the things i like to do is to get enough information about something before telling people that I can help them with it. So I went back to the government website, the UK government website, to just see more information about the health and care worker visa. And so I just took like a test and it showed me seven different kinds of visa that I am qualified for. You also, you're qualified for it because I had to put in my information that I, was, I am from Nigeria and i'm looking to come and work in the uk so just stay tuned subscribe to the channel and this is to celebrate 500 subscribers so far at the time i'm doing this video thank you so much for subscribing and i look forward to us getting to a thousand so i've got my laptop right here and um i'm just gonna walk you through all seven kinds of visa so obviously the first one is the health and care workout visa so and to be eligible for that one according to the government website you need to be working in an eligible job and you need to pay the minimum salary so most times the minimum is twenty thousand pounds a year and prove that you can read and write which is take the english test and for the health and care worker visa you can stay up to five years in the country and you can extend your visa after the five years if your job offer is still valid you can extend your visa alexa go off go off sorry guys and after five years if you want to settle in the uk you can apply for settlement so the second visa that i found that is the multinational company one so if a multinational company in the uk gives you a job this is the kind of visa you need so they had to you know split it into two they said one is a senior or specialist worker visa also known as the global business mobility so i'm going to put all of the links in the description box so you just click don't be lazy and see each and every one of them because you might not qualify for one but someone in your family might qualify and if that person goes to the uk something has changed the other one in this category is the graduate trainee visa this is quite you know interesting graduate trainee visas and the eligibility for this kind of visa is one have an eligible job obviously so it doesn't have to be like a care assistant job or stuff like that just have a job with a multinational company and be paid a minimum salary so just find out what's min minimum salary because if you go to the website you definitely see like all of the information you're going to need so and how long can you stay in the uk on this kind of visa it says you can stay up to five years with a senior specialist senior or specialist worker visa and for the graduate training one you can stay for one year and it says you cannot extend the graduate training one so i feel like graduate training is quite an easy visa to get so if you're a young graduate doing a graduate program or something just go and check this out it could be something that you are eligible for who knows so the amazing one that i discovered you know that that turned my head <laughs> is this one i'm going to talk about right now is the uk ancestry visa man i never knew i didn't even know there was something like this honestly uk ancestry visa so basically what this visa is about is if any of your grandparents was born in the uk you can come into the uk so go and ask your mom go and ask your dad about their mom about your dad where were they born were they born in the uk see you never can tell you never will know just go and find out so it says that with this kind of visa you can work in the uk without a job offer oh Jehovah. without a job offer you can come into the uk you know you're more like a citizen you just come in you look for your job when you get here i mean see flexing <laughs> i'll take that again it says you may be eligible you may be able to live and work in the uk with 
a UK ancestry visa. With this visa, you can work in the UK without a job offer, including voluntary work. You can be an employee or a self-employed or a director of a company. Imagine, what did your grandparents do to, to give you this kind of privilege? I mean, go and ask, go and tell your friends. Aha. Who is eligible for this? You must be 17 and over. 17 or over, so just be 17 or over. One. Secondly, prove that your one of your grandparents was born in the UK or the Channel Island or the is this Isle of Man, something like that. But we're talking about the UK, so the UK is the main focus. So prove that one of your parents, your grandparent, was born in the UK. What would be the proof? I don't know, my grandparents were not born here. And how long can you stay in the UK if you have this kind of visa? He says this visa lasts for five years. After this time, you may be able to apply to extend it for another five years or to settle permanently in the UK. This is the easiest kind of visa I have come across. And the next kind of visa is the temporary work or government authorized exchange visa. So if you take part in an approved training scheme, this is the kind of visa for you. It says there are various schemes available that offer practical training in medicine and in science. So I feel like this one is, you know, restricted to medicine and science. I don't know. It could be in other fields also. So the eligibility is that you need to have a job offer for this one. So, so find out if you're in the medical field. If you can have a government authorized exchange visa just just click on the link that i'm going to put in the description box and go over and see if you qualify it says you can stay up to two years in the uk on this kind of visa and if you want to stay longer you have to switch to another type so that might not sound so cool but then you go here so the next one i'm going to tell you about is the work experience scheme this one is actually similar to the other one is also a temporary work um, government authorized exchange visa but this one is for work experience if you take part in an approved work experience scheme it says that to be eligible you should also have a job offer and your visa can last up to one year and if you want to stay longer you have to switch to another visa type and then the last kind of visa that i'm going to talk about here is the high potential individual visa so it says you must have heard of this one because it was trending a um, couple of weeks ago. The eligibility for this one is that you need to have been awarded a qualification by an eligible university in the last five years. So that's it. One of the eligibility criteria, you have to be awarded a qualification. So just must have been, you must have graduated from an eligible university in the last five years. And secondly, you have to prove that you can read and write so this is another easy one this high potential um stuff it doesn't require you get in a job so just i've graduated from an eligible university you don't need to have a job offer so go and check um go to the website and see the um eligible universities and see maybe your school is in that category it says usually proving that you can read, write, speak, and understand English is one of the eligibility, which is proof of English. Boom. So how long can you stay on this visa? The HPI visa usually lasts for two years. If you have a PhD or other doctor, doctoral qualification, it will last for three years. And if you want to stay longer, you have to switch to another visa type. So guys, I hope that these visas that I've talked about have been helpful to you and that you can just, you know, go onto the platforms, to the website and see the ones that you qualify for and don't delay because delay will actually, you know, these people, they change their mind as often as possible. So don't delay, get on that visa that you think you qualify for as soon as, as possible. Look out for everything you need to provide and get started and i wish you a successful application if you're going for a job a successful one success in your visa also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always don't forget to like the video and thank you so much for viewing don't forget to join my telegram channel where you can always ask me questions unlimited and whenever i get a chance i give answers to all of the questions if i know the answers thank you